everybody, so this should be a really fun video. I was recently tagged by a wonderful vlogger, YouTuber named the London City Girl TV, and she's great, she has really fun reviews, she's got a fun personality that she lets into her reviews, she has interesting opinions about things, and I really enjoy her videos, so I'll put a link down below to her video of this tag and also to her channel. So definitely go check her out and subscribe to her channel because she's she's great and she likes a lot of different movies than I do which is always fun to see different perspectives on things. She likes a lot of thrillers and suspense movies and things like that and I like some of those but I like more the comedies and the romantic comedies and that sort of side so it's kind of we're sort of a yin and yang as far as our tastes in movies go. And so what she tagged me with is the, it's called the Would You Rather movie tag. And it's basically saying like, would you rather do this or would you rather do that? And I'm gonna give you my answers. So here we go. First question is, would you rather watch only horror movies or only thrillers? This is a really easy question because I don't like horror movies. The Shining is really the only horror movie that I like. The rest of them are just too scary and I don't really like being scared. See, I like thrillers much better. Like, as far as the Hitchcock movies, like I much prefer North by Northwest over Psycho. Because Psycho is too scary for me. <laughs> so, luckily, there's lots of really great thrillers out there. I, if you've watched the ABCs of my Blu-ray library, you've seen how many suspenseful thriller movies that I have on in my collection. I'd say as far as underrated, I think one that not enough people have seen is Notorious, the Hitchcock movie Notorious, and then also Shadow of a Doubt. I think, I think it, they are both so well done. Uh, Notorious is a little bit slower paced, and so you have to kind of be willing to have that, but it is so great. It's so beautifully shot. It's There's such great tension. It builds bit by bit by bit. And I, it's one of my favorites, and it's it's actually incredibly romantic as well, and incredibly tense. So, Shadow of a Doubt and, and Notorious. If you haven't seen those, definitely go check them out. Next question is, would you watch only comedy or romance? And for me, the answer to this question is romance. Because I feel like most of my favorite comedies could probably be slipped into the romance genre. So I think I could get away with it, whereas like with comedy, that's much a much smaller list of comedies that I like that that aren't romances. And in like if I pick romances, then I have it open to drama and comedy. So I think I'd have way more movies to choose. And I, I don't know if you guys have seen, but I have a defense of the romantic comedy video I did that I'm really proud of. I think it turned out really well. I'll put a link down in the description. Definitely go check it out if you haven't looked at it already. It's more of a podcast length. It's about 15 minutes, I think. So I love good romantic comedy. Question, would you watch only female lead roles or male lead roles? And this is also actually kind of an easy question for me because I would pick all male roles only because there's just simply more movies with lead male roles. So I'd have more to pick. So that's why I would pick, you know, the feminist in me wants to pick the all-female, but you just simply have way less movies. I mean, you think every superhero movie, basically, except for some really terrible ones, To Kill a Mockingbird, It's a Wonderful Life, Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. I'm trying to think through my favorite movies. All the Pixar movies have a lead boy. I'd say 80% of my favorite movies probably have a male lead, which is really sad, but it is, it is the truth. And I certainly wouldn't want to be stuck watching the Twilight movies for the rest of my life. Next question is shop online or in stores. Super easy question, shop online. I, I actually do most of my shopping. I do my clothes shopping online. I do, I, it's just so much easier and convenient. I'm a prime member with Amazon. It comes in two days. It comes in one day if I pay three bucks. For me, it just makes sense. Would you rather watch one film a day or 15 films a week? I have a job, so I couldn't watch 15 films in a week. I have watched one film a day, though. That has actually happened in my life when I was bedridden with my knee uh, and I was watching the Disney canon. The thing about Disney that's a little bit different, or animation in general, is most of them are, are about 80 minutes, 80 minutes to 90 minutes. And so it's not as much of an investment in your time as watching some of these two and a half hour, three hour movies. And 
So it's kind of easier to pop them in and watch one a night. So it's a little bit different, I think, than with other genres. Would you rather be a director or professional critic, movie critic? And this one's also actually pretty easy for me. I would definitely rather be a director because a couple different reasons. I There's just so many terrible movies that you have to see if you want to be a professional critic. And I, I couldn't stand <laughs> going to every Adam Sandler movie or oh, just some of the, the horrible horror movies. And the other problem that I would have if I was a movie critic is because of my religion. Like there's certain things that I just won't see. And it does limit me to a certain extent. And I have a blog where I talked about how to be Mormon and like movies because, and one of the things I said in there is that certain movies I just am not going to be able to watch. And that's too bad, but I, I just can't watch a Martin Scorsese movie with 508 F words. That's just too much. I can't do it. You know, I can't watch a movie like Blue Valentine with, you know, graphic, graphic sex. I, I, I just have to have a limit. And so I couldn't be a professional film critic unless maybe I was strictly family films only. Then maybe I could. But for the, uh, I mean, I don't think I'm the biggest prude in the world, but there's definitely a lot of movies that I just can't see. So that would be the other, whereas like if you're directing, you could direct whatever you wanted. You could direct family films, you could direct clean films. And so I don't think you'd necessarily be as challenged uh, as far as morally. I wouldn't be as challenged morally as far as director goes. So that would be my choice. The next question is, would you rather watch only your top 20 movies or only new movies? This, is a, this one's really hard, really, really hard. I guess I'd have to say, I mean, I guess if it's only new movies, mm, I guess I'd have to say new, even though that kills me. That would be so hard to not see my, you know, movies in my top 20. It'd be so hard to never see Little Mermaid again. It'd be so hard to never see To Kill a Mockingbird again. There's so many movies that just mean a lot up, it means a lot to me. And it really impacted me, and that would make me really sad to have never seen it. But I guess at least if I had to pick, I have seen it, because I would have have to have seen it to know that it's in my top 20. So at least I've seen it and had it part of my life, and I'm not limiting myself to only 20 films if I'm, if I'm only watching new films. But I, that would be horrible. I would hate to make that choice. So the next question is, would you rather watch only your favorite genre or every other genre except for your favorite? So I don't know if you guys will think this answer is a cheat, but so I'll kind of maybe give two answers. But my favorite genre is animation. And so I would definitely pick my favorite genre over everything else but my favorite genre because I feel like with animation, you, you can watch it all. There's adult films, there's... Uh, dramas, there's comedies, there's romance, there's musicals, there's every kind of movie within the animation sphere. There's everything from Studio Ghibli to Fantasia and then to The Penguins of Madagascar or Aladdin. You know, so you've got comedies, you've got everything else. But I, if, you, if you don't consider that a genre of movies, which I totally do, then I, I think I would probably, I guess... It's hard because I don't know if I really have a favorite genre uh, aside from animation. I mean, animation is my favorite. Let's, I guess my favorite genre is romantic comedies, even though there's so many terrible ones. But I think if I think about the movies that I want to rewatch the most, they're usually my favorite romantic comedies. And so I guess I would pick that. But mm. so I'm hoping you guys will accept the animation answer because I think that that is the most accurate as far as my tastes. The next question is, would you rather watch only physical movies at a theater or on your tablet or laptop? And this answer might actually surprise some of you because I do love going to the movie theater. But if I had to pick, even though it's so annoying only watching on this tiny little screen of a tablet or laptop, I would still rather watch on the laptop on the tablet because if I was only watching it at the theater, I could see so much fewer movies and I would miss out on a lot of movies that are worth seeing. And so I'd rather have like, I'd rather have a, 
at least see a good movie in a maybe a less than perfect environment than not see it at all. And I, I also feel like there's sort of a downside sometimes to going to the movie theater because people can be loud and annoying and talking on their phone and eating smelly food that's gross or, you know, just there's all kinds of sort of annoyances about going to the theater. It's not like a perfect experience. So you have to kind of factor that in as well, that it's less than sometimes less than ideal. Okay, last question is, would you rather watch only films or TV shows? And my answer would definitely be film because I feel like, I, I mean, I'm a huge TV watcher and it would be really hard for me to not be able to watch The Simpsons, not be able to watch Survivor, shows I really love, but I still feel like there's something about the conciseness of a whole story within two hours that I enjoy a lot more and I feel like it's hard for me sometimes with some of the shows that other people really love. I have a hard time like dedicating that much time to these characters uh, that that I don't particularly care for, that I don't particularly like. And it's like for a movie, if I'm going to watch a movie, a two-hour movie about a drug addict or a, uh, a you know, a... a murderer or something like that, that's one thing, but do I want to watch like Bates Motel? Like I could watch a two hour psycho movie and, and then be done with it and have had an interesting experience and had a, a whole story, or I can spend literally hours of my life in that story, you know? And so I feel like there's a lot more movies that I would be open, a lot more stories that I'd be open to in the movies that I just don't want to spend that much time with these people. I don't want to spend that much time with these characters. And so that would be my reason. That is the end of the Would You Rather movie tag. And I am going to go ahead and tag uh, the lawn gnome. So you've officially been tagged. And I'm going to tag the rotoscopers and I'm sure they won't do it because they don't really, I've only seen them do one other tag, but what the heck, what do you gotta lose, right? So those are my tags and I hope y'all having a great night. I'll talk to you later, bye.